Hey, how's it going everyone? Outlaw Client here, back this week with some more... Uh, not quite Halo 4. Uh, this is in fact the online multiplayer of Bioshock 2. Now, if you've been watching my videos for the past few months, and I really have to give you guys a round of applause if you have been, I mean, how you've managed to stay sane with my commentary, I have no idea. I mean, I'm commentating right now and I want to leave. But, um, no, on a serious note, if you've been watching my videos for the past few months, you'd notice, well, you probably, you might remember at one point I did mention that I wanted to switch up the games a bit, and I didn't want to just get in the, like, get in the habit of just uploading the exact same game every single week, which unfortunately happened with Halo 4. But, I don't know, I guess you guys liked it, so it's not too bad. But, um, I thought with the recent release of Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea DLC, I thought, what a better game to play than Bioshock 2. You know, I'm in a bit of a, um, how can I say it, a, uh, a Bioshocky mood, I guess. Yeah, that's a new word now. But, um, anyway, so starting off the match, I decided to go straight for the turret, and unfortunately, I'm, well, I managed to take out one guy, but it was followed up quickly by the, his teammate who wanted to get revenge. I mean, he, he just couldn't let it go. He had to kill me. That, that guy was out for blood. But luckily, well, I don't know if that was the same guy, but I managed to uh, get an assist on that other person. I mean, come on, that should have been my kill, shouldn't it? But anyway, so I know I did play Bioshock 2 back in, I believe it was December, but I know I did explain some things, but I might just go over some things again, just in case. But anyway, walking around the uh, map of Arcadia, a Bioshock 1 map, actually, redesign of the Bioshock 1 area, and... Just conveniently, I managed to stumble upon a Big Daddy suit, which was right behind me. Lovely. So, I know I did explain in the previous video, but just to quickly go over it again, the Big Daddy, well, you can play as the Big Daddy if you find one of his shoot, one of his suits, and it's usually in, like, one of four spots, I believe it is, on each map, and it won't exactly spawn in the exact same place every time, but it will move around a bit. But um, it will only spawn about every three or so minutes, I believe. And you can pretty much take out splices in two or three shots. You also have a mind move which will take out the enemy in one hit if you throw it directly at them. I mean, come on, it's, it's just so satisfying to smack them in the face with a mine. But you can also lay them out on the ground if you want to, and that will take them out like the explode damage, which is also one hit, which is pretty nice. And there's also the stomp ability, which will stun the enemies temporarily. So right there, I had to avoid the oil rig. Uh, fire, you can interact with the fire hazards. Oh, wait a second, sorry, I just need to take out the trash now. Yep, there we go. Nope, one kill, one kill. The, yep, there we go, there we go. Two kills for the price of one. Looks like we're shopping at Asda again. But, um, no, um, luckily there I managed to get that final kill, and as you saw, the rivet gun overheated just at the last second. I mean, that's the thing, if you shoot too many shots, I mean, it's incredibly powerful, but the drawback is that it overheats if you shoot too many shots. So, uh, yeah, it could have been pretty bad there if I overheat if I overheated whilst the splicer was still alive. But um, as you can see, there me just putting the mines behind the door, and uh, it can net you a few kills because by the time the door opens and the splicer walks out, they'll be long gone already. They'll they'll you know they'll be floating up in the air dead already. But um, no, it's a very useful tactic to use, especially on um, maps like this that has a lot of greenery and it's sort of hard to see as well. can sort of blend in, I guess, well, apart from the bright green flashing. But anyway, trying to go over to that main area, and it's definitely not a good idea when the turrets are hacked to go into the main areas, because when you're playing as the Big Daddy, you can't hack devices, you can't use plasmids either, so there's no way you can uh, take out that machine, other than if you just directly shoot it, which I think is a bit of a waste of time, because it will take down like a good chunk of your health before you actually manage to destroy it. But anyway, taking out some more trash there. Oh, an electrical guy. And uh, this is quite a bad situation for me. Um, this guy was just, you know, weaving, bobbing and weaving all over the place. Um, my gun overheated. And then I get hit by the splash damage. Oh god. The game glitched out. I got fired from work. My friends left me. Game over. But, um, no, what I'm trying to say is that that was not a very good situation for me there. It was, everything was against me there, but I don't know, maybe I could have taken out that guy if I was a bit a bit more patient, I guess. But I did manage to get a good three or four kills from that Big Daddy suit, so not too much to complain about. But hey, on the bright side, I can use the uh, telekinesis again. 
So we nearly killed that guy, but I got an assist. Well, actually, no, it didn't even come up with an assist, did it? And I managed to take that guy out. I just... This game. This game sometimes. Seriously. But anyway, there I am using my incineration loadout, just like last time. And it's pretty good because... Well, as you can see, it just... Well, it doesn't lock on. You have to aim yourself, but... It can cause some extra damage to opponents, even if you don't kill them straight away, so... The incineration, well the flames on them, still have a chance of just killing them after a while. So that's always pretty good if you don't finish the job off with a weapon or anything. And I also use telekinesis, which isn't as good as in the single player mode, but... I don't know, I think it's quite underrated, because you can't quite... Like, you can't move all the objects around like in single player mode and drop them in at will and stuff like that, but... You can fire at the enemy at a really fast speed and it will, like, stun them for a second and... Um, yeah, pretty much allow you to follow up the shotgun exactly everything I didn't do in that situation there, because as you can see I managed to um, be completely destroyed by that guy, you know, the dark the dark fisherman. I'm playing as the fisherman as well. He's my evil brother, you know. Every every protagonist has to have an evil version of themselves, you know. But um, anyway, continuing on, you know, it's, it's not about the death, it's how you bounce back from it, guys. That's some uh, valuable life lessons right there. Um, but anyway, so moving on, and I noticed that my turret has been hacked, and that's another thing, I, all the turrets in this game, like, they can pretty much be hacked again by the enemy, so uh, some people just destroy them, I don't know, I still like to use them, it doesn't hurt to just hack them again. But anyway, Big Daddy suit spawned, and it was taken just as quickly as it spawned, and that guy looked like it was in the exact same position as last time, so uh, the guy got a bit lucky there. <laughs> but again, like I said, the Big Daddy suits don't always spawn in the exact same position, so, uh, yeah, just be aware of that. But luckily I managed to throw a mine in his face, yeah, that's exactly, you know, that's just how satisfying it is to pick up that mine and throw it back in a, a Big Daddy's face, very satisfying. But of course, after I saw him turn on me, I had to do a tactical retreat there. Oh, taking out these two guys, evil splice, there we go, there we go, can I get two, can I get another two for the price of one? Look at that, shopping at Asda, oh. Okay, yeah, not not quite. Uh, yeah, well, I, I took two people out. It's worth it. But anyway, going for that second loadout to show you guys the Electro Bolt, bolt and the uh, Geyser Trap. But I... Well, the team unfortunately won. Well, no, no, I shouldn't say unfortunately. We won, and it was good. But there we go. So I managed to get a good eight kills and four deaths. Not too bad, you know. But um, unfortunately, well... That guy in first place got like 27 kills, I mean, j Jesus, 27 kills, I mean, I know I came in late and all, but 27, that's a lot, but I don't know, I think I should have got a lot more kills, and it was classed as assists a lot of the time. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys, uh, if you enjoyed watching this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back next week with some more Bioshock 2 gameplay, so until then, I'll see you guys later, and peace out.